Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum! Oh, oh, wait. Oh, that's right, we're playing Pokemon XD. Welcome back to Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. On the last episode, we did some things, and now this time, we gotta make our way to the Snagum hideout. Team Snagum's base is apparently still in use even after it was destroyed. It was destroyed by some weirdo five years ago. Like some weird guy that we definitely didn't get to play as. Email time! To Sheep Killer, I trust you've been well. I'm proud to announce the reopening of the Real Gum Coliseum following extensive maintenance. Look forward to your participation against top ranked trainers. You gotta find Gonzap here. Oh, hello! Hmm, are you a new recruit seeking to join Team Snagum or just an intruder? Let me battle you and see. Um, to answer your question, yes. the outcome. That sure was harsh. You know what you're doing with your Pokemon. Hate to admit it, but you wiped me out. We could use your toughness. Come, join Team Snagum. We're always on the lookout for outstanding talents. Or rather not, but there's a healing machine here. Back in Coliseum, there was a, P a PC here instead. They replaced it with a healing machine, I see. The place looks exactly the same as it did five years ago. I just hope I don't get ambushed. Three Ultra Balls. Okay. I'll take those. Yeah, they didn't even try fixing this place. They just lived here in this destroyed place for five years. Kind of weird. Well, item chest? Don't think I didn't see that. Two harbor potions. Oh, this guy's gonna bat on me. Wah! The sheep killer! Darn it, you can get the snag machine back! I just realized they have the same battle music as as Cypher in, in this game, instead of using the regular battle music. And we defeated another Team Snagum crud. Ah, it's not gonna work unless we put targets to sleep! Yep, if you don't get your chance to put me to sleep, you don't stand a chance. I'm already taking the snap machine to the boss. Gonzap's mighty tough. The gosh dang spot monitor's back. We gotta go check that out. In case it's a whooper or maybe even a bonsai. If it's nothing, I'll edit back to- I'll just edit right back to where we were. I don't know why I'm so unlucky with the cave poke spots when I got- I, I got Surskit and Trap Inch twice pretty early on for the other poke spots, but I just cannot find a whooper for- I, could, I just could- yeah, I just can't find a whooper to save my life. I don't get it. I also couldn't talk to save my life just now. It's happened a lot in this series, I feel like. And that way, I think that's where we meet Gonzap, so I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore this place. Even if we've already seen everything of it in back in Coliseum. Yeah, there's Gonzap. I still want to see everything else before we go meeting that guy. And there's another snack of crud. And what's over here? Oh, there's these guys. If you join up right now, you'll not only get the, the day's wages, but also commuting allowance, and even a box lunch. Depending on your qualifications, you can even receive up to 20% more paid holidays. You won't find terms this good, huh? Why you? You can't button to a job interview, this is what you'll get! I was just trying to take an item chest over to your left, or my left. You didn't have to stop your interview just to send out your Rem Raid and Octillery. That's kind of pointless, dude. But now, since you've done that, I have to beat them up. I, I have no other choice. When it comes to the wild Pokemon, 
Your only options for you have three options for ground types. You have Sandshrew, Trap Inch, and Fan B. Sandshrew might be the best. Trap Inch only is not good because of how late you get Flygon. So yeah, I think San Sandshrew is the best between the three, but I chose Fan B because I've already used the other two before. Heck, I just used Flygon and Coliseum. There's no way I'd use it again. It wouldn't even be a Vibrava right now. It'd still be a Trap Inch. Yeah, at the levels I'm at, it still wouldn't be a Vibrava, and I'm over leveled. So. Yeah, you definitely get Flygon extremely late in this game. I, I said I'm over level, but this crawled out to level 32, so maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe they've caught up to me now. And we defeated this dude. What the? What was with your toughness? Nope, no way. I'm not letting anyone tougher than me join Team Snagum. I came out because they promised to pay me the day's wages and buy my lunch. What's this play that's all about? But anyway, they're about stealing Pokemon. But he, I guess he don't know that yet. We're done with this spot. Now we got another crud to fight there. Two revives. I've still yet to buy any revives in this game. At least I think so. We'll walk past you for now. Because why not? I mean, we'll eventually battle you anyway, but I might as well walk past you. If if the game lets me. Anything over here? Yeah, there's this guy. And more downstairs stuff. So let me go over here first. There's another snag of dude. And an item chest with a PP up. Use the PP up on Vaporeon's Ice Beam. Here we go. I don't think there's any other moves I would need that for. Wait, hey, let's head down. Oh, that guy can see me. Now we're good. Let's keep exploring. Oh, uh, it's locked! What? How do you lock an item chest? I don't know, but... And that just leads outside. So that's it. But yeah, we're done exploring, so we can fight some cruds now. You? I want Team Snag him, but I don't have a snag machine, so I've never snagged anything yet. You understand know how pathetic that makes me feel? Tropius is your last Pokemon, and to anyone who who says, oh no, it's pronounced Tropius, do you say tropical or tropical? I'm just asking the question. I'm answering your question with a question. It's just a question. Anyway, let's defeat the tropical Pokemon here. Down goes Stantler. On the subject of Tropius's pronunciation, I, I, there's just some po Pokemon name pronunciations that I don't understand, especially whenever the it's been officially pronounced a certain way, but people still refuse to accept that and pronounce it a different way. I just find that weird. I don't it doesn't make me mad, I just find it weird. Like, they've said Zacian, but people go around saying Zacian anyway. Losing a battle hurts, it cut me to the bone. When I joined up, the snag machine was already gone. So he joined up after West bombed the place, it seems. Sheesh, the wall hasn't been repaired for a long time. Can't be helped because we haven't made much money lately. This just stinks. Huh? Why was I, well, I was feeling sorry for myself, an intruder appeared. Oh, so that's why they haven't done anything to this place. They don't got money. Where would their money come from anyway? All they do is steal Pokemon. I mean, I, I guess maybe Cypher paid them back in the day, but uh, they don't work for Cypher anymore, obviously. I'd say I don't know where Cypher gets the money from either, but... The leader is very rich, so that, that would be where. You wait. We'll get our spot in the sun back. And this is where the snag machine was that Wes stole back in the day. They still have the pedestal, the thingy there for some reason. Well, it's, it doesn't say pedestal, but that doesn't really look like a pedestal. But yeah, they still left it there. They really haven't done nothing with this place. Oh yeah, over here we still have this guy. What? You're ready to team snag his hideout? That takes guts!
attack on the Kecleon, so only let only Yen that remains. I almost said Lettyba. <laughs> Imagine this guy just had a random Lettyba. No, they would have Letty at this point. If they were to use any Pokemon from that line. I mean Letty is not strong either, but it's stronger than Lettyba. Well that almost one shot, so we're kinda going for this flamethrower for no reason. But there's a healing machine in here, so that's not a big deal. Oh, pointless critical as well. That was extremely overkill. I'm sorry, Yenma. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> they all just make sounds when they get defeated. Back in the old days, just saying the Team Snagum Nade made even crying kids shut up instantly. Now we can't even beat a kid! Yep, that's the story of your life, isn't it? On a member, a membership recruiting drive, we need more people for taking the fight to Cypher's hideout. We'll hire anybody, even kids, if they're strong. Oh, what the? I thought I battled you. I guess not. Oh yeah, I skipped you. I skipped all, I skipped all the guys in this area, including you. leveled up. That means they're gonna evolve into Ampharos after this. So we can go deposit them for something else. And yep, here's Flaffy evolving. So we're gonna get a random Ampharos. This guy's not gonna be part of our team, because we used an Ampharos in Colosseum. And I'm not making any... I'm not, I'm not using any Pokemon in this series that I already used in the last series. So we're not using Ampharos here. But there he is. Wants to learn Thunder Punch? Yeah, why not? We'll get rid of Thunder Shock. If you want to use Ampharos in this game, it's not bad. It gets Thunder Punch upon evolution, apparently. Excellent, you made the grade. We'll battle no longer. We gotta heal and replace Ampharos with something else before moving on. If only there was a PC in here, too, but nope, only a healing machine. That will be a really good time for the Spot Monitor to go off, but I know it won't happen because it only comes on at the worst times. I was gonna bring in Skip Bloom, but they're in the Purified Chamber, helping my Togepi get purified, so. I probably enrolled instead. They both fully evolve at level 30, so it makes no difference. And we gotta go in here. We probably have another Snagum Crud or two to deal with. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe we should go straight to Gonzap now. But TM29, that's Psychic, isn't it? Yeah, that's Psychic. Can anyone learn that? That would be cool. That would be really good if someone can learn Psychic. Uh, Ralts can, but Ralts isn't part of our team. Though Gardevoir wouldn't be bad in this game. And oh, we do have one of them to deal with. Okay. No one on our team can learn Psychic. Not even one of the future team members that I've yet to add. Huh? Kid, didn't I see you before? Why are you looking away from me? It's Biden once again. We saw you at the... At the Cypher Key Lair. And oh, you got Crobat now. And yeah, he, he got destroyed by Zook. And then we defeated him right after that, so there's no way you're gonna stand a chance. Why would you only use Oddish against Zook if you have all these other Pokemon as well? I do not get you. I mean, I get why from a gameplay standpoint. They wanted to show the battle. So if they showed all his Pokemon getting taken out, that would just take forever. But yeah, still weird. somewhere before yeah you were at this the the, the cypher key lair but also Ralts is evolving into Curlia and they're gonna evolve again into Gardevoir at level 30 of course there we go we got ourselves a Curlia weird how I'm showing the evolutions for these random Pokemon but I didn't show them for Nuzleaf and Houndoom I get it now you want that to sleeper when I went just to get the snag machine okay I get it now I won't have to agonize over this. You're the kid from back there. I got it now. I was the one you stole the snag machine from, and I'm here to get it back. Hey, walkin'. That snag machine you say you went and got, what's up with it? It's too honking small. How am I supposed to fit this on my arm? But, uh, it's not because the machine's small. It's because your arm is so thick, Godzap. Shut your yap! Bring me something so useless as this, huh? 
Who is that kid there? Hey, you! You're that kid! He must have come from the snag machine! Good work getting out here. But we're not about to let you have it back. Give up now, kid! And now we gotta battle this guy. Oh yeah, this is the guy who who used sleep powder with the gloom. And oh, here's the gloom. He gets he's got two of them. And there we go. Walkin is defeated. You won't be walking anymore. Try to take you head on was a bad idea. Yeah, it worked out a lot better when you just jumped me. But in a proper 1v1, I, I win every time. Oh, hey, not bad. Pretty impressive, if I, may, if I may say so. Listen, kid, why don't you join us and we'll smash Cypher together? If we snag all the Shadow Pokemon from them using the Snag Machine, Cypher will collapse. When that happens, Team Snag will step up and take over. So how about it? Will you join us? Sure. Gwah! Don't lie, because you're obviously no good at it. Your lips are twitching. All I really want to do is get this, this snag machine back, don't you? Fine, you'll have your snag machine back, but only if you can beat me. Yep, now we got a battle Gonzap, and unlike a Pokemon Call CM, he actually has a special theme this time. Shares a theme with the Cypher admins and such. That's a lot better than just having the normal theme back in Call CM. I'll use Brick Break on my inferior self, and we'll use Flamethrower on... Oh, they're going for a Fake Out. Who's that on? Shiftry, so Nuzleaf's not going down this turn, but whatever. Spark? Oh, I'm paralyzed. Houndoom is paralyzed, guys. It just happened, I'm sorry. See? I knew it! And I get stuck, so we didn't even get to attack that turn, wow. Let's try that again, shall we? Sonic Boom. You miss. That's what we get. I'll show you who's the best Pokemon in the evolution line. And next up, Vile Plume. So far, your team's completely different from what it was in Colosseum. But let's take down the Electrode. Oh, not quite a one-shot. Whatever. There we go. Spark going in again? Am I paralyzed again? I swear if I'm paralyzed again. Good, we're not for once. For once, that move didn't paralyze me. Down goes Electrode, though. Goodbye, Electrode. Now, what's Vileplume gonna do? They had a free turn. Whiskash? This is like a free turn. Unless they put me to sleep, they did. And it's on Shifri. Too bad this isn't Gen 6, where we'd, where we'd be immune to that. Okay, not so free of a turn after all. I'll use Moomin Milk then, on Houndour. Get him healed up. There we go. And Hyper Beam, okay. That didn't do crud. Yeah, it's just we just walked it off. Hyper Beam as well! You love Hyper Beam, don't ya? Oh, that did more than I expected, but whatever. We're gonna use Giga Drain on Whisk Cash next turn and heal a lot of that back up. I almost clicked the wrong Pokemon. But yeah, Flamethrower on Violet Plume. Level 30 here. Just slowly catching up, it seems. Down goes Vile Plume. And level up on Curlia. And Skarmory! Oh, you have a Skarmory! Something similar to your old team there. Oh yeah, let's use Giga Drain on the Whiskash. And heal quite a lot there. And down goes Whiskash.
And Skarmory's all that's left, okay. We'll use Flamethrower, that should one-shot it. And Trickery's faster. Not that it matters. Skarmory's dying regardless. Goodbye, Skarmory. And with that, Gonzap is defeated. Whoa! He's just punching the ground. At least it's someone who didn't fall over this time. If we hide your expertise at the snag machine, we have no trouble crushing Cypher. But fine, a promise is a promise. Here, take your snag machine back. Huh? Are you serious, Gondap? After all the trouble we went through to get it? Weren't we going to use that to keep Cypher a lesson for dumping us? This kid's fighting to bring Cypher down, right? Him and us, we're both after the same thing. Here, kid, take it. You can have your snag machine back. We got it back. That thing didn't fit my arm anyway. Gwah! Oh yeah, might as well give you this too. Just goes to show how I can be generous. Gonzap's key. I, I guess that opens the chest. This is a gift from me. This is a chest in the corner on the ground floor. There's the, That's the key for it. Alright, kid, get going. Cypher's secret factory is to the north. We'll all be looking forward to your crushing Cypher. That's the team snag that will get me in control. Gwah! Mirror Beam may have appeared. Okay. Let's check that out. You better appreciate Gonzap's generosity. You repay him by sinking it to Cypher. We should be the only getting an ore. There's no room for two. Yeah, that was always my goal to get rid of Cypher. You don't need to tell me that. And it said Mirror B may have appeared. Realgum Tower. So we'll have to go to the Realgum Tower to go fight Mirror B. The mirror radar went off and told us that Mirror B is at Realgum Tower. So if we go there and compete in the Realgum Coliseum, then Mirror B will be in the finals. We get TM30 there, that's Shadow Ball. And yeah, Mirabi will be in the finals of one of those tournaments. And then we'll fight him there, and that's where we can finally get that Shadow Nose Pass. I'm gonna head there. And I'm not gonna show the whole the whole Coliseum challenge thing. So I'll meet you guys whenever we're actually battling Mirabi. Okay, so I thought he'd be in the finals, but no, Mirabi's right here in round one. Okay, so he has a Ludicolo and Jump Off to start off with. I wasn't recording at first, so didn't get to see what he said at the start, but whatever. I'll have to use Ice Beam on the Jump Bluff and Fire Blast on the Ludicolo. He's level 40. Excuse you. This battle may be a bit tough. Yeah, that didn't that didn't do any damage, pretty much. And he goes for Leap Seed on top of that. I'm sure that's his only Ludicolo if, if it's this tough right now. Yeah, let's go for an Ice Beam. Down goes... Not down goes Jump Off. Dang. Well, what gap really matters, doesn't it? And Jump Off is going to outspeed. And go for that Solar Beam. I hope it doesn't kill me. Let's see. We're dead, wow. Maybe I should have seen that coming, but... I was hoping it wouldn't happen. Let's go for Fire Blast again. Missed this time, because that's exactly what I needed. I'm going for the Toxic Leaf Seed strat. I need to get the heck out of here. That damage is going to add up. This battle ain't easy. Let's hit that jump bluff and we'll swap out to Curlia. Why not? Use him as heal bait. We're going for Sunny Day. Jump up's already faster than everyone. Oh, they're going they're doing that for instant solar beam, so yeah, we better get him out. Yeah, down goes jump bluff. Curly levels up because they were here while that happened. And next up is Sudowoodo. He has a regular Sudowoodo this time, not a Shadow one. Giga Drain. 
on Curlia. One shot. What the heck is up with this guy? Level 40 really make that much of a difference? Uh, I guess we can go into Dawn Fan. Maybe go for Body Slam and Paralyze it. Let's use Giga Drain on Sudowoodo. And then, yeah, Body Slam on the Ludicolo here. Shifri is the fastest on the field right now, though. And wow, we're not even going to two-shot the Sudowoodo? Are you serious? And go for Toxic again. Wow. You love your cheese strats, don't you? Mirror B went from being lower level than us to this. Let's hope we get that Paralyze in. I want to shut down this Ulicolo. Yep, we Paralyzed him. Good. And counter. Good thing I use a special attack. But let's go for... Hidden Power this turn, I guess. Super effective. Yeah, but it doesn't kill. But Dom Fan's gonna finish him off. We're faster now because we paralyzed the uh, Ludicolo, so we're faster than it. Down goes Pseudo Widow. And Nose Pass is back. This is our chance to get the Shadow Nose Pass. Before we couldn't get it because we didn't have a stag machine, but we got it back, so this is where we can catch it. And Ludicolo got stuck, that's that's what you'd love to see. It's only level 26 though, so you're gonna want to be careful weakening it. Critical hit, nice. And yeah, let's hope this don't do too much damage. Oh, not even half. Not even a third. We're good. And it has Shadow Wave. If we ever get in a bad situation, I want to revive someone, but right now it's not too bad. Ludicolo going for Giga Drain, though. On Shiftry, really? Let's go for Body Slam this time. On Ludicolo, of course. Just to get the Ludicolo out of here. We won't quite kill it this turn, though. But maybe next turn. But yeah, just get some extra damage in there. On Red now. Maybe I could go for Body Slam on Nose Pass and not kill it. Because it is not very effective. It's also not same type attack bonus on Don Fan. So if it does the whole not killing thing, as well as paralyzing Nose Pass, that would be great. Sunlight faded. Oh, but we died to poison. That's not fun. Did you just dab as you died? Oh, and we still have Houndoom left. I forgot about that. So I'll use Houndoom to finish off the, Lu the Ludicolo here. I think yeah, we'll try Body Slamming the Nose Pass. It should live. I'll be surprised if it killed, actually. Down goes Ludicolo. And yeah, Body Slam going in. Critical hit, and they're fine, so yeah. I was right about it not killing. Even with a the crit, they survived. And... Eh. Let's use a snag ball. Tying ball, specifically. There we go, we caught it. And now... That's gonna do it for this episode of Pokemon XD Gale Darkness. Next time, yeah, this is a weird, this is a weird point to end the episode, but whatever. Next time, we'll take the fight to Cipher Key Lair. Now that we have the Snag Machine, we can capture Zook's Zangus, and we could try to get past those bodyguards as well. Yeah, we'll we'll head to the Cipher Key Lair, and we'll we'll try to. Do stuff, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy hunting.